In this video, we will be looking at celebrities who mocked God and regretted holding their tongue not long after. Galatians 6, 7, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. One person who suffered the consequences of mocking Jesus Christ is former UFC champion Conor McGregor. At the start of his career, he was unstoppable in the octagon. One of the most iconic venues in the history of sports became simply a small detail in the storyline of UFC 205. When Conor McGregor became the first fighter to hold UFC titles in multiple divisions simultaneously after defeating Eddie Alvarez, accessorizing his featherweight belt with a lightweight one as well on November 12th, 2016. Unfortunately, as he climbed in prominence and amassed a fortune, he became obsessed with the limelight and allowed it to cloud his judgment. His pride grew along with unfiltered words. In an interview with TMZ, Conor McGregor mocked Jesus Christ and said if Jesus were an MMA fighter, he would beat him up. How would you and you versus Jesus in the octagon? How would, that, how would he fare? Me versus Jesus in the octagon. <laughs> ah. Welcome to TMZ. Um, yeah, yeah. No, uh, how about me versus Jesus in the octagon? I tell you what, there's not a man alive that can beat me. <laughs> but Jesus ain't alive, is he? So I don't f***ing know. Maybe he could come back from the dead. And I, I don't know. Um, I'd still whoop us. Connor was still on the rise of his stardom at this time. Here's a second clip of Conor McGregor saying he is a god and on the same level as Jesus. Me and Jesus are cool. I'm cool with all the gods. Gods recognize gods. His opponent RDA had a foot injury and needed to withdraw himself from the fight. And the last minute replacement was needed. In comes Nate Diaz. Conor McGregor's invincible aura was now gone. His career kept declining as of that moment with humiliating defeats. From famous sports athletes to entertainers, we find multiple examples of these high profile people mocking God and paying the consequences for their careless words. Proverbs 18:21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The tongue can bless and the tongue can curse. Words have power. Keith Thurman, a former boxing champion, is another athlete that was humbled from mocking God. Oh, when I said I'm gonna crucify the man, ooh, they said, oh, ah. It's almost as if they had a crown of thorns on them themselves. They felt it. Now, we all know that Jesus Christ was resurrected but not to walk this earth again. He verbally attacked Manny Pacquiao and his beliefs in the buildup to their boxing match. Manny Pacquiao obliterated Thurman in that matchup. Thurman now appears to be humble and thinks twice before blaspheming Jesus Christ's blessed name. Worldly success gives the illusion of control. Fame and fortune cannot save our souls. Only Jesus Christ can do that. Matthew 16, 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Another celebrity who let his fame get the best of them was the late John Lennon from the rock band The Beatles. In 1966, at the height of his popularity, he said in a mocking way to a media outlet that Christianity would fade away and soon disappear. He also said that his band was more famous than Jesus Christ. If it had said we're more, uh, television is more popular than Jesus, I might have got away with it. But we meant more to kids than Jesus did, or religion at that time. I wasn't knocking it or putting it down, I was just saying it as a fact. At the age of 40, while entering his luxury Manhattan apartment building, John Lennon was shot four times at close range. He was immediately rushed to the hospital, but died on the way. Again, worldly status is not enough to keep us safe. And unfortunately, sometimes popularity brings out the worst in people. Celebrity status 
is not what God will be looking for on Judgment Day. Tancredo Neves declared to become the Brazilian president in the 1980s that if he gained 500,000 votes from his party, not even God can remove him from the presidency. He did win the election, but he became severely sick and died the day before his inauguration as the president and never took the oath of office. As time passes, it is clear that good morals are quickly put aside and new levels of evil morals become more accepted. James 4, 6, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Austin 3.16 says I just whipped you. This was the moment that the WWE pushed Steve Austin to new heights of superstardom. Austin 316 merchandise sold out worldwide at a rapid pace. At the SummerSlam pay-per-view event in 1997, Stone Cold Steve Austin had a match with Owen Hart which led to a bruised spinal column and temporary paralysis for Steve Austin when he was on the receiving end of a tombstone pile driver. Comedian Heather McDonald experienced almost instant ramifications after taking the Lord Jesus Christ's name in vain when she claimed that Jesus loves her the most. Seven seconds after the blasphemous statement, she collapsed and suffered a skull fracture. She also mentioned she never fainted before in her life. Clearly, Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice, so nice. <laughs> um, so I'm in the emergency room. I passed out on stage. I got up, I did one joke, and I felt so dizzy. I will be back. I, I've never, ever fainted in my life. John 319, and this is the condemnation. That light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. The number one reason people don't accept Jesus Christ is they are not ready to repent and admit to themselves of the wrong ways they choose to live. Deontay Wilder revealed he was on the side of darkness when he mentioned that he believes ancestry spirits would help him win against Tyson Fury. You're gonna feel him as well too, just like the feeling that you feel him now. Is that like an alter ego or something? Or is it a, a, is it well a, it is can, it like a spirit that comes into you or what is it? It can, it can be a spirit, I, I, you know, it may be an ancestry spirit. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10 to 12. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. I don't believe in all that stuff at well, all. I do. Because That's Jesus the... Christ is my savior, and I don't believe in all spirits and alter egos. And even mentioning stuff like that on TV, you're getting it. And, and, and Honestly. And that's the difference if God is with me, me and you. nobody can be against me. Yes. I look to nothing to come Light inside is. me and win fights. Only the power of God above. He's going to be your no God against my God. After the fight, Wilder said, I heard a voice in my head saying, if you don't believe in God, this is the reason you should. One thing was clear in Wilder's mind. God woke up Tyson Fury because he repeated it in multiple interviews after the fight. Another thing go, went through my head, like, if you don't believe in God and think he's real, I think God woke that guy up. It is important that we repent and submit to God's will and not take his grace and mercy for granted. The most important lesson 
is that we remain humble as we achieve greater success in our endeavors. Isaiah 5.20 Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This is a warning not to be treated lightly. As Satan's pride and obsession to be worshipped comes to light quicker every day in the physical world, we also see society more accepting of his ways. Romans 12, 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith.